You're watching Ozstar. Ozstar is happy to announce this video is compatible with Adobe Atmos. In this week's video, we're going to be telling you a few ways that you can save money on Foxtel, starting with what you are subscribed to. So a lot of people get talked in to subscribing to Platinum HD. Now, if you have Foxtel and you only watch sport, movies, and that's basically it, you don't watch drama, you don't watch kids, you don't watch anything else. So if you just watch sport and uh, movies, there's no point actually subscribing to Platinum HD because you're actually losing quite a lot of money there. So if they are the main things you watch, sport and um, movies, make sure you cancel your Platinum HD and just subscribe to sport and obviously your movies. You'll find you actually save quite a lot of money per month. So that's one way that you can start saving money. Or if you're just subscribing to movies and you've got Platinum HD, you're actually losing quite a lot of money each month that is coming out of your bank. You're actually losing quite a lot of money. The way to make it the bill cheaper is just subscribe to movies and obviously you're going to have to have your $29 entertainment pack and it's probably best to add that extra $10 for the HD but still it's going to be a heck of a lot cheaper than subscribing to Platinum HD. Because I used to have Platinum HD and all I was watching is movies and sport and I was still paying $139 per month. And I'm going, there's no point me paying that when I'm not watching any of this drama stuff, not watching anything like that. So I decided to cancel um, all the other packs and just subscribe to sport and movies and add the HD pack and I saved quite a lot of money. So again, it's not too much of a saving, so total it's going to be $88 per month. But it's still better than paying $139 per month. So still, there is a bit of a saving there and you can easily start saving right there on your Foxtel bill. Because you don't want to be paying for stuff you just don't use because there's no really point of doing it. Especially if you're playing for Pat Platinum HD and you're just not watching any of that stuff. You're just basically watching your movies or maybe just watching movies and you're playing for Pat Platinum HD. There's really no point of paying for that if you really don't need to. Now we're going to tell you another way that you can actually save quite a bit of money with your multi-room. Now this tip is going to be for people that have more than one multi-room box in their house. So for example, just say you've got three different multi-rooms in your house. So you've got three different multi-room boxes plus you've got the main um, box as well. So four boxes in the whole house. So for example, if you get rid of two of your multi-rooms, meaning you've got one multi-room still left, you can actually, on those two boxes you've removed, you can still watch Foxtel with the Foxtel Go app. So if you've got an Apple TV, a Google Chromecast, um, all you need is an iPhone, iPad, or Android device, you can start casting Foxtel in HD onto those devices on two different TVs at the exact same time, with if, as long as you've got one multi-room. Again, if you don't have a multi-room, you have to add the Chromecast, I think it's called the Cast multi-room, which is $15 per month. But if you've still got one multi-room in your house, you can easily cast through the Foxtel Go app. So I just wanted to tell you that. You can save a total of $50 if you get rid of two of your multi-rooms in the house, as long as you've still got one active multi-room, plus you've got the main Foxtel box. You'll be able to cast at the exact same time, two different programs, live or on demand. So when you think about it, that is a massive saving on your Foxtel bill. Um, if you can save $50 by cancelling two Foxtel boxes, and you can still watch Foxtel on those two TVs, you just have to control it by your phone and cast it over to your TV, and it works pretty well. As long as you've got a steady internet connection, anything over 10 megabits works fine and have no problem with it. I find the experience on the Apple TV is a lot better than on Android. Um, it's up to you on how you like it. So on Apple TV, I find it a lot smoother and faster. On Chromecast, it's a bit slower and I don't find the experience as good. So that's my recommendations on the whole thing. So again, all you need basically for this is an iPad, an iPhone, and an Apple TV. Now we're going to be talking about renting movies. Now if you've got the movie pack, just do not rent movies. Again, it's up to you if you want to, but why I was a bit annoyed when I rented a movie. I rented a movie last week on Foxtel. I rented the brand new Johnny English movies. And then I realized this Sunday, Johnny English is coming to Foxtel Movies premiere. So I, I lost my $7. If I would have just waited another week, it would have came to Foxtel. So that's one thing, it can be annoying. You'll rent a movie and then you go, oh, now it's on Foxtel Movies. So that's one annoying thing that you may want to keep in mind if you're renting a movie. Make sure it's not coming to Foxtel yet. Um, because if it is, you're going to lose your 6 bucks. 
our main seven dollars because if you rent it in the next week it's going to be on fox so there's no really point of actually renting them and those rentals can really add up especially if that's six bucks 6.95 per per rental that's quite a lot of money another one it is really expensive is the usc um games now they're really expensive to watch now again you can't watch those on foxtel at all for free you do have to pay for those main events and i believe they're about 40 45 dollars each time you pay for one of those main events sadly there is no way of saving your money in that way because there is it isn't included with your foxtel subscription you just have to pay that 45 dollars each main event there is no way of getting around that if you're a ufc fan or something like that sadly you have to pay for those main events there's no way you can wait for it to come to your tv it's always live on main event and you can't get around paying uh, for that 45 dollars per main event so yeah that's going to be everything in today's video i just want to give you a bit of an idea on how to save i know the three options i'm hoping they did give you a bit of an idea like obviously um what packs you'll subscribe to obviously that's one main one which is pretty important too what packs you are subscribed to obviously your multi-room so you can save a bit of money in your multi-room also renting so it's probably best not to rent too many movies especially if you are subscribed to the movie pack because all those rental movies will eventually come to foxtel as i don't think the express from cinema i don't think those ones come to foxtel movie pack okay so the express from cinema should not come to the uh, movie pack again i'm not 100 percent sure on that one so i'm not sure about that if you do know let us know in the comment section but i'm pretty sure express from cinema does not come to the movies pack so let us know what you think about today's video if you like it give it a thumbs up. thanks for watching ozstar if you like today's video think about subscribing or you can hit the bell notification and thumbs up today's video thanks again for watching ozstar and we'll catch you guys next week